It is considered a key connector between Washington and Oregon, the I-5 bridge over the Columbia River, much of it a century old and seismically vulnerable. And six years ago, the effort to replace it was scuttled by the state of Washington, still emerging from recession. Should we sign? Let's do we'll it. do so here. And the echo of that day in 2013, part of today's discussion, as a memorandum of intent is signed between Washington Governor Jay Inslee and Oregon Governor Kate Brown. This is a new time and a new day in a variety of ways. Uh, I have a serious commitment from uh, my partner in Washington. A new joint bridge office is being established to research, design, and get not just the one mile long bridge rebuilt, but up to four miles of I-5 north and south that would feed into it including provisions for light rail mass transit. We should get a glimpse of that future from a preliminary report due out by the end of this year, and a reality that there may not be federal money to help pay for it. Yes, it was very difficult and painful for us when we did not seize the money that was right before us years ago. But if the nation moves forward on an infrastructure package, which I hope it will, I have to believe we've got a great, great argument for federal funding. Now, we don't know what it will cost, when it will be done, but clearly it will be in the billions. $44 million has been appropriated already uh, to reestablish the office to design, build, and manage the project. By the way, one of the questions that kept coming up to the governor today was, what about I-976? Right. Will it's this impact. affect that? He says no, because this is replacing existing capacity. Um, but obviously, there's a lot of court cases and all sorts of right. other stuff going on here. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Bottom exactly. line. Clark